Okay, Jared. So last year, OAC had their first ever girls' state championships at Harrison High School in the Cincinnati area, and, and huge success over 100 girls, right? Yeah, 130 girls. So, so the growth and the trajectory of, you know, obviously with Holland, Marulis winning mm -hmm. the 2016 Olympic Championships, the trajectory is only upward for, for females wrestling in the sport at the youth, middle school, and then obviously high school level. OHSA hasn't jumped on board yet, but a bunch of other state associations have. Let's talk about what you guys are doing, what your commitment is to, to girls wrestling here in the state of Ohio. Yeah, last year was the first year. Went really well down at Harrison High School. Uh, this year, and uh, coming year, 2019, we're putting it at uh, the Cavelli Center, you know, putting the youth, the junior high, and we're in the high school division there. So it'll be the weekend of the junior high state tournament. We're putting them, you know, right along the boys, uh, the junior high state tournament, Cavelli Center. You know, big stage for the girls. We're looking forward to it. So they could do both divisions at the uh, – because it was the same weekend as a grade school state championships at Harrison. There were actually girls – Same weekend as a junior high yeah, district. Yeah, 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 there, yeah, were, yeah, yeah. There, there were girls yeah. who wrestled in three divisions of the tournament mm -hmm. that day. Yeah. Will they be able to do that at OEC mm -hmm. or, yeah. or where are yeah. you guys We're at? We're still working that? on that, but they, I mean, if they qualify and we can make it work in the schedule, you know, like I said, uh, it'll be the junior high weekend. So it'll be grade school girls, junior high girls, and high school girls division. Obviously, that sixth grade division, you can wrestle in the grade school or the junior high. And then you have the junior high uh, state tournament going on. So, you know, if the schedule allows, you know, we want them to get the, all the matches they can. The junior high state tournament is probably the toughest, you know, state association mm -hmm. tournament. It's tougher than the, the high school because mm -hmm. high school is broken into three divisions year one. Why do you want to inject so much more madness into an already really tough tournament? Is it like the growth of girls wrestling? You, you guys are that committed to it. Yeah, I mean that's 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 what we're you know we want wrestling, you know, alive and well in the state of Ohio. So we're you know putting these events on that people want, and you know it's you know, like you said the junior high it, it's crazy, but that's that's why we do the sport. We want to see where we fall, right? We want to see who's the best. That's why we go out there. It's you know it's a black and white sport, um, but um, you know we do have the divisional state tournament now too. Kind of a different change of pace where you wrestle guys within your you know future high school divisions but um so the yeah. school size based yeah. on your school size so if i'm a graham falcon yeah. i'll be d2 at yep. your your divisional yep. i won't have to worry about wrestling a st mary's guy yeah, or st ed's or, or st yeah, ed's yeah, guy because yeah. mm -hmm. those are division one two and mm -hmm. three that we just named Correct. so that, i like the concept of your divisional mm -hmm. state as well mm -hmm. now it moves from harrison mm -hmm. harrison fills the void of you know junior high and grade school state girls mm -hmm. leaving they have Athena Nationals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's it like to know that, you know, there's an event in Chad Dennis and the Athena the, the Athena Club there. I mean, they're huge, yeah, man. It's, it's a gigantic yeah. club. Yeah. What's it like knowing yeah. that, you know, they filled the void and, you know, they still got it rocking down there. Yeah, they, they definitely know what's going on. They, they have it going on for sure down there in that Athena Nationals. But year two this year coming for it. And, uh, you know, they do they do a great job, Chad Dennis and, you know, Josh Sasby, you know, with with Barbarian, you know, promoting the girls wrestling down there, they're doing a great job, and it's, uh, you know, it's 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 good knowing there's people like that promoting the, you know, not just wrestling, but girls wrestling and, you know, Ohio wrestling. You guys have great partnerships. You know, speaking of partnerships, mm -hmm. they're going to have Barbarian Nationals as well the day before. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they're in conjunction. Mm -hmm. Athena and Barbarian yep, Nationals yep, yep. are two days together, right? Mm -hmm. It's like yep. one tournament, same venue. Correct, but yep. when you look at the, the the relationship, the business relationships you guys have built, that's incredible to me. How important is it for you guys to work with wrestlers, but not only wrestlers, but I you know two of your strong relationships are obviously Barbarian and then you know Defense Soap. Mm -hmm. What's it like having those relationships with and knowing those guys are wrestlers, and what's it like dealing with them? Yeah, I think you asked me this back at junior high state or one of the state tournaments, but it's you know when you're working with wrestlers, you know who you're working with. You know, uh, I believe I said then you know you walk through their shoes, but you know you and I know each other, right? So for how many years? Because of wrestling, right? We, you know. What thirty miles apart, grew up next by each other and known each other, know each other's families. It's just you're surrounded by the right people, and it's uh, you know when you're in wrestling and you're uh, working with wrestlers, you know people in the sport. It just makes it that much more enjoyable, you know, working with wrestlers and knowing what you're going to get uh, with a product. You know, they stand behind the word. They give you, you know, give you their best effort. You know, they put the hard work in. They do the things right. What do you guys do as far as are you expanding the amount of districts? that you guys are doing for grade school and junior high or is it staying the same what are you doing with that right now the 2019 we'll have eight districts for each uh each uh for the grade school eight for the grade school eight for the junior high but uh you know right now they're they're selling out the grade school districts are, are selling out so you know we may have to tweak some things going forward in 2020 we're still working on that but um you know wrestling it's crazy how, how it's still growing here in ohio 
and uh, you know people are still staying involved with it. You know, even how tough of a sport it is. We try and catch up every month. Is there anything that I miss? You know, I always talk to you a lot, and communicate a lot, but yeah. what's something you want people to know about what's going on at OAC, what you guys are trying to do? No, just, you know, like I said, that divisional state this year and the girls' state, a lot, of, a lot of new rules and new things we're adding to it, you know, putting money back into the website, making that better each year, and, you know, we're excited for another wrestling season coming up.